Happy World Math Day! To celebrate, here are some quick and easy math games for kids that require little to no equipment. 1. Odds and Evens Draw a noughts and crosses style grid. One player can only write odd numbers and the other even. The goal is to work together to try to create as many rows and columns that add up to the number 15 as you can. Once you do this, you can try 150 or other totals. Try starting with odds and then starting with evens to see if it makes a difference or if one of them's easier. Two. Simon Says Geometry. This is Simon Says, but with children illustrating geometrical terms with their bodies. For example, parallel, triangle, acute, obtuse, right angle, etc. They can use their whole bodies, they can use their arms, they can use their hands, whatever you decide. Three, guess the sequence. Each child comes up with a sequence of numbers that follows a pattern. They then share the first and last numbers, but with blank spaces for all of the digits in between. The other children attempt to fill in the gap and complete the sequence with as few guesses as possible. Four, what's my number? A child chooses a number and the others try to guess what the number is by asking questions. For example, is your number less than 50? Is it even? Is it prime? Does it start with an even number? Top tip, limit the amount of more than less than questions that students can ask. Otherwise, they'll just keep narrowing it down. It's also fun to try and encourage them to investigate in different ways by asking different kinds of questions to see how many different kinds of questions they can come up with. You can also play this game with shapes. For example, you can ask questions about what kind of angles it has, how many corners and sides it has, etc. Five are place value riddles. This activity activity uses this resource from Twinkle that you can download from a link in the description below. In small groups, children draw a place value riddle challenge card and place it face up. Everyone has a go at solving the riddle and write down their answer. Once everyone's ready, the teacher can reveal the correct answer. Or you can always write the answer on the back so children can flip it over when they're ready. Everyone who gets it right gets a point. Whoever has the most points by the end of the game wins. These cards are differentiated into three ability levels with three stars being the most challenging. If you'd like more ideas for easy and fun math games for kids, you can check out the resources and activities on the Twinkle website and I'm going to leave a link to some in the description below. So make sure you browse around if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.